Hello, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to answer a question about whether the Heritage 150P can handle heavier eyepieces. The eyepieces that are included with this package are extremely light. I'll weigh them now just to show you how they compare to an upgrade eyepiece that I've bought. This is the Super 10. So let's put the scales on and have a look. So we're looking at 23 grams for that one. And an upgrade 10 millimeter eyepiece would be something like this Explore Scientific 52 degrees long eye relief eyepiece. And this weighs considerably more. So we're looking at 187 grams. So we're looking maybe about eight times more off the top of my head. In terms of eyepieces, it's still a relatively light eyepiece. So when you go up into the two inch category, which of course this telescope doesn't take, it's got a 1.25 inch focuser, but you can get, my point being is you can get much heavier eyepieces, but this would be a typical kind of weight of an upgraded eyepiece. So let's see how it performs in the telescope. First of all, I'll place the stock 10 mil eyepiece into the focuser. And what I'm doing is I've opened it cloudy basically I've got no chance of doing any astronomy tonight so we're doing this in sort of evening light it's completely overcast so I'm going to pop red dot finder onto a distant TV aerial and we'll do a little vibration test so I've got focus I'm focused on the TV aerial what I'll do is I'll tap on the top ring of the telescope and I'll count how long it takes for it to settle in the eyepiece before the wobbles kind of go away. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, just slightly shy of three seconds for that one. Just double check. One, two, three, yeah, about three seconds. Switching to the much heavier, but still reasonably, reasonably weighted Explore scientific eyepiece. And there we go. Same experiment again. One, two, three. Yeah, just shy of four. One, two, three. Yeah, just over three. One, two, three. Yeah, slightly over three. I'll just do one more to be sure. One, two, three, and it's pretty much settled by three, but it's just a slight wobble after three seconds. So very fractionally longer than the, the stock eyepiece you get with this telescope. So from a vibration point of view, upgrading the eyepiece isn't really a problem, I don't think, and it seems to take the weight of it okay. What's more of a problem, I think, is the focuser having all this slack in it. I think we can reduce those vibrations down even further once we've got that PTFE tape wrapped around that thread and it's gonna hold, I mean, look, that's a crazy amount of wobble. I think most of the wobble is coming from that rather than the truss rods. The truss rods, it is a con I can see why people are concerned by them. There's only two of them. And when you're seeing this wobble, it's not just the truss rods, it's also the connection to the mount there because it is a moving axis there so there is going to be a little bit of play so you can actually move the telescope also there's not much in the base but this is quite a long bit of wood so you can also see the flex in there as well if you push left and right on there and that combined with the focuser and the truss rods i think creates all the vibration you get with this but it's no more than any other, it's no more than this telescope over here basically. That, that will wobble for a few seconds as well. So it's typical for an entry level telescope. The main thing is that you can use upgraded eyepieces without a problem. Just wait several seconds for it to settle when you, when you adjust the focus or you move them out and everything's good. Okay, that's just a quick question I wanted to answer and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.